A date is an experience you have with another person that makes you appreciate being alone. Sounds like Larry. Do you miss him already? Well, who doesn't? Imagine having a show and that show survives a whole 11 seasons and every next season is better than the one before. Is that even possible? It most certainly is. Only if we talk about the comedy genius Larry David. Now before we continue talking about the next season, let's make a short recap. Coffee and milk. Who'd have thought? So grab your coffee and filtered water and listen very carefully. 11 seasons and the 12th season is on the way. I can't remember if any other show made it this far, and not just with a number of episodes and seasons, but with the rating popularity and unbelievable critics. Season 11 was released on October 24, 2021, and we must agree that it was pretty, pretty, pretty good. Total plop. From beginning to end. Are you kidding me? Oh, what the fuck, Larry? Oh. There's one rule when it comes to curb your enthusiasm. You have to be smart to watch this show. At least you have to be smart to understand it. Yes, that's right. This is a comedy for a smart audience, so if you're watching this and you're looking forward to the next season, you see where this is going. Mazel tov. You're smart. The return of the most comforting and yet the angriest comedy on TV brought the perfect formula of celebrity cameos, screaming and snark. After season 10, everything that we could hear and related to Larry was also released to his red MAGA cap, which he used as a tool to repel people in liberal Los Angeles. There's nothing that was ever predictable about this show. You could just hear Larry David shrug a meh after some huge mistake he'll make. Season 11 aired 21 years after the show premiered, and we can definitely consider this an HBO classic. The world heard John Hamm talking Yiddish on television for the first time. This was a real hallelujah moment for an admittedly small part of the world. Talking about the show to Entertainment Weekly, Jeff Schaffer, the most frequently asked question, how do they still come up with ideas? Well, until society reaches a place where you can walk outside and not be annoyed by your fellow man, I think we're good, said Jeff. The Five Foot Fence, the first episode of the season, seems concerned with death and aging. Even though the show isn't showing its age, someone broke into Larry's house, fell and hit their head, and Larry found a dead body in his swimming pool. But this theme continues with Susie plopping down on the couch next to Larry, and Larry walking right into a glass door. The story continues with Larry looking back at his life, so he and Jeff pitched a show to Netflix called Young Larry. It's about his life in his mid-twenties when moves to New York with his Uncle Mo, where he's trying to build stand-up career while in the same time making his uncle's life harder to cause premature death so he can inherit the money he had. Just as the fatwa from season 9, his fight with Mocha Joe, and his spite store in season 10, young Larry was the main line in season 11. We already know where this is going, we're just waiting for the new episodes. Young Larry must go on, with or without Maria Sofia Strada in it. Let's hope that she won't be part of the show. There was one statement in the Rolling Stone magazine a few years ago that said, some comedians say the things that everyone else is thinking. Larry David says the things that nobody realizes they're allowed to think. I don't know if they had any children in this shit. How could Frankenstein have a kid? No, Dr. Frankenstein. Made love to fucking the broad of Frankenstein, and he had a fucking kid, I guess. No, that's not what happened. Now, before we continue talking about the storyline, let's talk about the potential release date. Since it aired its first season, Curb has hit that like button just like you should do if you haven't done so already. No, really. Since it first aired, Curb had been a big-time hit on the television network HBO. It has aired 11 seasons so far, and the first time we saw it was on October 15, 2000. Curb season 11 premiered on a HBO on October 24, 2021, and it's confirmed now that the release date of Curb will be December 25, 2022. Yes, that's right. Curb Your Enthusiasm this year will be a Christmas show. It's expected that season 12 will have 10 episodes with a runtime of 26 to 58 minutes each. Now let's talk about the cast. We know for sure that the main cast list will be back for season 12, but also a few other supporting actors and actresses. Larry, an American comedian, director, actor, writer, and producer, Larry was well known before as an SNL writer and most important as a head writer and an executive producer of the mega popular show Seinfeld, alongside his friend Jerry Seinfeld. In Curb, he's a fictionalized version of himself, and this brought him so much more fame. I'm in a lot of trouble now because of you. A lot of trouble. I thought you said he was a very decent Klansman. He is a decent Klansman, but he's still a Klansman. The incredible stand-up comedian and actor Jeff Garland will be back as well. The star of the ABC sitcom The Goldbergs is simply an actor without whom we cannot imagine Curb Your Enthusiasm at all. We'll hear much more of Susie's dirty language, probably a few cameos of Cheryl Hines as well. Larry's friend and roommate Leon Black will be back. So yes, J.B. Smoove is getting ready to take this role again. 
And who knows, maybe John Hamm will smash that subscribe button and hit the notification bell. No really, in all seriousness now, maybe John Hamm will return again. Curb is famous for the incredible cast list and the guest actors as well. So it won't be a surprise if we see someone like Bill Hader, Michael J. Fox, Dustin Hoffman, David Schwimmer, Julia Louise Dreyfus, and many others. Oh yeah, before we move on, let's not forget one of Larry's best friends, Richard Lewis. He's coming back as well. Now let's talk about the plot. Rich Eisen tweeted the great news just recently. So I was delighted to MC an Emmys panel for Curb Your Enthusiasm tonight here in LA with most of the cast and asked Larry David the ultimate question, will there be another season of Curb? The 52-year-old talk show host wrote on Twitter, Yes, he said. The five-foot fence law is repealed. Maria Sofia Estrada and her father are fired from the show. Irma is moving out. Cheryl is coming back and begging for forgiveness. Yes, this would have been a perfect scenario for Larry's story, but most likely things won't go this smoothly. It's never the case when we speak about Larry, knowing that most of the show's stories are based on Larry's real-life events. We just hope that Larry had a fun year. You say you're a fan of my acting. Yeah. You know, yeah. what performance of mine really resonated with you? Of your acting? Yeah. In the, yeah. In the kitchen cooking? The Season 11 begins with Larry promoting Young Larry, a new Netflix program, but as a result of the toilet's malfunction, he's fired from Netflix. Jeff and Larry then delivers the show to Hulu, which almost immediately accepts the idea. Larry makes every effort to keep the fence around his pool clear, even though the show's recording date is approaching. The 12th is slated to follow Larry, as he navigates the challenging circumstances that will inevitably arise and as he embarks on his new ventures. When it comes to Curb, you can never be sure what's going to happen. Every sign is saying that season 12 will show us more about young Larry, about Larry's life with Irma, and his struggles with Maria and Sophia. But there are always some surprises. Given the fact that every episode follows a different plot, we can confirm for sure that this won't be the only storyline for Curb number 12. And who knows, maybe a miracle could happen. So Maria and Sophia will become a great actress. Larry has transformed comedy with his mindset in the past three decades. Co-creator of the beloved 90s sitcom Seinfeld LD taps into the moral and ethical dilemmas which plague today's world. Larry delivers a satirical sermon on leading a principled life through Curb. His experiences are proportionately biblical and pentateuchal at the same time. Larry David's programming is truly the Torah of television with its myriad of down-to-earth life lessons. When asked why he's decided on this name of the show, he said, always keep it. To not is unattractive, it's unseemly. So curb your enthusiasm and wait for the 12th season. And what do you think of these scenarios? Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.